Hey, I got a question for you. When will you stop? When will you stop looking for the easy way out? When will you stop to find somebody that will tell you the magical pill that you will take and it will change your life? When will you stop looking for an easier route because you don't want to try it yourself or do it yourself? When will you stop asking the manifestation teachers about how to get this without doing anything? Because paradoxically, when you don't want to do anything, you will do it. And when you are open to actually do something in order to get it, paradoxically, you won't do that much. And this is what I want to tell you. I want to tell you something. This life, you have to validate everything. And then choose the other thing that you want. If you actually don't like something, don't try to ignore it. Validate it. It's here for a reason. But choose something else does that mean that we have free will to choose yes we have we have the free will to choose anything we want but what should we do in the time between the assumption of the thing and the realization of it neville actually answered that by saying nothing but most people misunderstood what he is saying he's saying to you that you should do nothing by forcing it. It should be natural. It will come automatically. And let me read something for you. This is chapter 21, Free Will and the Power of Awareness. The question is often asked, what should be done between the assumption of the wish fulfilled and its realization? Nothing. It is a delusion that other than assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you can do anything to aid the realization of your desire. You think you can do something, you want to do something, but actually you can do nothing. The illusion of free will to do is about ignorance of the law of assumption, upon which all action is based. Everything happens automatically. So you want to do something, but the reality of it is you will just do something automatically. You will just be in a flow state. You will wake up under compulsion to do certain things that you wouldn't normally do. Like, all of a sudden, you will call people that you didn't call for a while. Maybe for years. All of a sudden, you have this urge to call this guy. And this guy connects you to another person. And eventually, all these circumstances and events will lead you to get to what you want. Let's say, for example, you want to be a successful businessman. Do you expect a successful businessman to know nothing about finances? So when you actually imagine yourself being successful and you land it correctly and you sleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled and you feel like it's done and you wake up the next day and you find a financial problem, what does that mean? It means that you have to level up. Your conception of yourself is changing. So the new concept of yourself is a man or a woman that can deal with financial problems. So this problem arises and then you are seeing it from every angle and you are trying to figure out how am I going to pass this? And eventually you pass it anyway. But you have the experience now. You are so experienced that any financial problem that will come up in your face, you will just dodge it. Like you know how to overcome it. You know how to deal with it. You will know how that thing will be solved. How that problem can be solved. So now you are becoming a new person that can deal with all these difficult situations. So if you want to change and you want to become the person that you want to be, be open that sometimes it is required to face certain difficulties. Because remember, you are leveling up. When you are in a game and you defeat the first boss, you go to the next one and the next one and the next one. What you are doing is you are acquiring new skills. You are having new skill set that will actually aid you to beat any difficult situation that you face. You will beat it like, get out the way. I know how to deal with that. Let's see what Neville actually told us in the same chapter. To understand the love assumption, to be convinced of its truth, means getting rid of all the illusions about free will to act. Free will actually means 
freedom to select any idea you desire. By assuming the idea already to be a fact, it is converted into reality. Beyond that, free will ends and everything happens in harmony with the concept assumed. See here, he said, with the concept assumed. Because you are changing your conception of yourself. You are changing who you are. You are leaving that old character behind. And you are becoming that new character. And that new character requires to be in a difficult situation every now and then. Why? Because you are learning how to depend on yourself. How to actually overcome these things. You are becoming a new person. A new man. You are becoming a new character in your own story. You are about to defeat the final boss. So, what is required for you to defeat the final boss? It requires you to become more stronger, become more resilient, become more smart, become actually so alert to anything around you. Become alert that nothing phases you. You, you are unfazed. You can do anything you want. This is why these difficulties arise all of a sudden. And you think that you are doing something wrong. You have free will to choose the state of being that you want. But you don't have the free will to know what will actually happen between the assumption and its realization. This is up to the higher mind. And remember, the higher mind is leading you because your physical mind is only designed to know what is happening. The higher mind knows what will happen and what needs to be happening right now. So if you are asking and commenting on the videos that you need a certain technique. You need a certain scene. What scene should I visualize? This is not my job to tell you. This is your life, not mine. This is why Neville always talked about imagine a scene that implies your wish fulfilled. Your wish. And this is why I actually laugh when people ask me, why don't you have this and this? Who told you I don't have this and this? And who told you that your desires are mine and vice versa? Everyone got his own world, the universe is you pushed out. So circumstances don't matter and only your state of being matters. So stop playing around, stop actually postponing, doing the work and start to apply what I'm telling you. You are blessed, you are privileged that you have this info. We are guys, we are, we are privileged because we got this information. Most of the planet don't have this info. And they are denying it without even trying to disprove it. Because when they try to disprove it, it will be proven. Because remember the ladder experiment? Neville gave the people in the lecture the ladder experiment to disprove them. But they all climbed the ladder. You cannot disprove the law of assumption. It works whether you like it or not. Call it the law of assumption. Call it the law of resonance. Call it whatever you want. It comes down to one thing and one thing only, your state of being. If your state of being is on a higher vibrational level, you will attract higher vibrational things. And whatever state you are choosing will dictate what you will experience in your life. Because remember, creation is finished and all possibilities already exist simultaneously here and now. So you have to choose which is the state that I want. For example, if you want different things, and you don't know what to do, how to imagine this and then that and then this because you get so excited and you can't sleep. You can just simply say to yourself, as Neville told us, just say, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Get into the feeling of, isn't it wonderful? What is wonderful? Don't answer that question. Isn't it wonderful? Amazing things are happening. You don't just narrow it down. No. Isn't it wonderful? Everything is good. Isn't it wonderful? I have everything I want. Don't get specific. Just leave it there. Isn't it wonderful? Or you can just focus on one thing, finish it, feel the feelings that you want to feel, feel the acceptance of the fact that you already have it, and then go to the next one, and then to the next one. And always be open to all the experiences that you will face. Just because you have to go to the gym to get to the perfect physique doesn't mean that manifestation is not working for you. This is a part of it. Manifestation is not a magical pill. Magical things can happen, but it's not a magical pill. It will change your conception of yourself. So be ready. And Neville talked about that when he was giving his VIP members the technique to actually acquire a big amount of money. 
he told them, he warned them that when you are actually creating something that big, your whole life will change. You'll become a whole different person. You will completely change. You will now have the skills that is required to actually manage all that money or be that new person or have that new car or have that new house. You'll have more knowledge. So sometimes you will face difficulties. Sometimes you will have to go, for example, to the gym to acquire a good physique, to protect your family, to actually become confident in yourself, to enter the meeting rooms with confidence. This is what is required. So I want you to get out of your mind that manifestation has to be only one way. No, there are different routes and the higher mind decides that. And it's all dependent on your belief system. If you believe that things are easy to acquire, you will have it the easy way. But don't invalidate the hard way. Just notice that it is there. I know that you are here, but I'm choosing the easier route. But till you actually acquire the skills of having focused attention and actually know what you want, because most of you guys don't know what you want. You're just kind of want it. You're just saying it for the sake of it. Hey, I want this, I want that, I want this. You don't want any of that because if you want it, you, you'll be already having it. If you are like lukewarm, as Neville always says, then you are not actually wanting it enough. You either hot or cold. Lukewarm? Nah. Come here later. You need to know exactly what you want. And then and only then you will actually do your best to actually have your focused attention on the thing that you want. You will do the work, you will meditate, you will do the state akin to sleep, and you will have fun with it. It will not be a sure, but, but you will just be so focused on that thing. You'll be excited when you are about to go to sleep because you will be in that state. And throughout your day, you will close your eyes and imagine that you are already that man, that woman that you want to be. So stop asking the manifestation community about what scene should I do? It's your own life. You create whatever you want. You create whatever scene that you want. Don't ask anyone how to imagine. You already know how to imagine. Just do the work and believe me, magical things will happen. So that's it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. I really do. And until next video, I will see you soon.